guys and welcome back to my channel. Today as you can see from the title we are doing a lookbook. Now this lookbook idea was not my own, it is from a fellow YouTuber called Vessel of Blood. I will leave her link in the description below. So all credit for this idea does go indeed to her. I created these five work week looks based on places that I have worked and how I dress for work um, so that you can see how I incorporate my love of goth into my everyday wardrobe, especially when you work in a place that has a very strict dress code, which my last place did. I, it was business wear only, so the dress code was pretty strict for us women. So what I'd been able to wear in other places, I wasn't able to wear in this previous place. So that is what I've based the look on. I hope you enjoy the lookbook. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get a notification each time I upload a video. And with that being said, let's get into the looks. This first look is a black pencil skirt, which comes from New Look, paired with a grey marl peplum lace collared top with short sleeves. As you can see, I have paired that with a spider necklace to which the chain is hidden under the lace collar and some pearl earrings. It is paired with a pair of Joe Brown heels and the cute little studded handbag, which is perfect for the office. Get your phone in it, get your pass in it, not much else. The second look is a pop of colour with a red and black rose pencil skirt, a red cami and a black lace blazer. The necklace is actually a pocket watch. It is from Amazon and has Nightmare Before Christmas on it. It's one of my favourite necklaces and you have seen it in a few videos before. And I have paid that with a pair of black patent Mary Janes and again the studded handbag which is one of my favourites which was a gift from a good friend of mine and in my hair throughout the entire of the video I have a black lace clip bow that is from Primark. The third look is all black. It is a black pair of trousers with a black pinstripe blazer and a black Best. I have paired this with a scarf that has got pink skulls on and is grey in colour. As you can see, you can wear it in a multitude of different ways to get the skull out there. The first one I had it tied in a pussy bow. This way is just wrapped around the neck and draped. You can wear it just open. You can wear it just tied in a singular knot and draped again. Or you could use it as a belt and put it around the waist, as you can see here. A decent scarf is a good way to add multiple different ways. As I said, this look is all black, so adding that pop of the scarf means you can use it in different ways to give you different looks. So the one look then becomes several throughout the week. My favourite way to wear it is actually in a pussy bow, which as you can see is what I'm putting it back into here. I also paired this with a black pair of lace up boots. As you can see, this is a solid look for the office. It's both smart and professional looking. This fourth look is a lot more gothic as you can see. I have a Victorian style gothic skirt on with a short sleeved top with the brooch which you've seen in another video before which is a punk rave one. The skirt I actually found in a charity shop for you Americans a thrift store. I have paired this with a choker which has a spider on it and some earrings which I got from Wish which have roses and bows on it and I have paired it with my Alchemy Gothic Capinet bag which as you can see has a really long strap on it 
it's quite small so it doesn't fit a lot in it but it does look really cute and again I have paired that with my little lace up ankle boots. The final look is a black pencil skirt with a pink top which has Ferdelise pattern on it. I really like this shirt, you've seen it before in a couple of videos. Again, I have paired it with the ankle boots that tie up and the studded handbag. I've left the choker on from the previous look and changed the earrings out to grey pearls. Again, this is a really casual but smart look. Again, by just adding that few accessories, you do manage to get the gothic look while still remaining very professional. This final bonus look is due to dress down days for those of you that have them in the office. This is my punk rave cape dress, which you have seen in many a video. It is one of my absolute favorites. And I have left that paired with the ankle boots due to the fact that the office don't allow new rugs or demonias. Thank you for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're still here at the end of the video and you've not hit that subscribe button, please do hit that subscribe button. As I said, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified each time that I upload. I do upload once weekly, usually on a Monday. This week is a little late due to editing issues. However, I do normally upload on a Monday at UK 6pm. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!